I've put together a video showing a selection of some of our fossil fish that we found over the years. The fish fossils which we're going to have a look at range quite drastically from just tiny little fish jaws to really big fish jaws, fish heads and almost complete fish as well. The fish fossils that we find are incredibly rare. Only perhaps once every couple of years do we find a fish remain. So these are what we've found over the last 10 to 15 years. The first fish fossil that we're going to have a look at is this incredible jaw filled with sharp teeth. And the jaw is so big that at first we actually thought it was a reptile jaw from a small ichthyosaur. We found this back when we first started collecting. And my dad actually found this jaw the same day as our best ever Nautilus fossil. That's the golden Nautilus which I've shown a few times in previous videos. So to find both of these fossils on the same day was absolutely incredible. We also have this jaw which looks quite similar, which I found quite recently, and is also pretty menacing with the sharp teeth, but as you can see it's quite a lot smaller than the first jaw. It's only when you turn it over that you actually see the majority of the teeth. On this first side of the fossil there's only one or two showing, and on the other side there's a lot more. I actually thought this was part of a fossil rib when I found it and it was only when I looked closer that I noticed the teeth. And then even smaller still, here's another isolated fish jaw, which is absolutely tiny in comparison. We have found even smaller jaws than this. Some jaws are only a couple of millimetres across. So as you can imagine, it's very hard to spot them. And even so, you can't really prepare them because they're so tiny. That was a look at some fish jaws. Now we're also going to have a look at some more complete fossil fish specimens. The first that we're going to have a look at is one I found which had just fallen out of the cliff and was literally sat on the beach looking like this. It's got the complete head of the fish and part of the body as well. Unfortunately with this specimen it was quite a shame because quite a lot more of the fish had actually been there when it must have fallen out of the cliff. But all that remains of most of the body is just the imprint of the scales. This is an example where if we'd found the fossil sooner, it would have probably been a lot more complete. They're incredibly delicate and in the hot summer months, for example, the heat can just cause the fish just to peel away and is very quickly lost as soon as the tide comes over and washes the fossil about. This next fossil fish is also quite similar in the sense that the majority of the fish had been eroded away by the weather and the tide, but we do actually have quite a complete head for this fish and some of the body, and the detail is really intricate and pretty impressive. My dad has prepared the majority of these fossil fish specimens, and I think he's done an absolutely incredible job revealing all of the detail. Compared to the previous fossil fish, which have had pretty complete heads but 
partial bodies. This is actually a almost complete body, but the fish is completely missing the head. Even though there's no head preserved, I actually really love this specimen because the body just is so perfect. It's got the fins preserved and the fish in general are just such delicate fossils and the fins are one of the most delicate parts. I think if I could only find either the head or the body of this particular fish, I'd probably choose having the body anywhere. I think it's a lot more impressive. We've had a look there at several different fish, ranging from fish jaws to heads to bodies, and the next couple of fish fossils are actually some which are generally complete fossils overall, where they have the head and the body preserved. And the two that we're going to show are two of our best fossil fish that we've ever found. Here's the first of one of our favorite fish fossils. This is one that my brother found many years ago. It's an almost complete fish fossil, complete with the head, which has the jaws full of teeth. It's from a fish which is most likely the species called Dipedium, and it's really rare. We found a few partial specimens since this, but never one quite as good. You can see here the jaws and teeth, and they're really well preserved. Here's another one of our favourite fish fossils, and this time one which I have found. It's one which I found about a year ago and is similar to one of the partial specimens we showed earlier in the video. It's got the same intricate detailed scales which my dad has prepared very well to reveal all of the detail. It's also got a nice little fin preserved. If you would like an ammonite specimen to open up yourself at home, drop my brother a message on his Instagram page and he'll get back to you as soon as he can. He also has many other ammonite fossils available as well. Thank you in advance for supporting our channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, that's incredible. That's beautiful. Perfectly revealed.